Dallas apartment ended with a violent shootout. Before the gunfire, doorbell cameras captured one of the gunmen pretending to be a maintenance worker. When he thought no one was home, he and an accomplice tried to kick in the door. Then they found out quickly someone was inside with a gun ready to fight back. Fox 4's Amelia Jones is at Dallas Police Headquarters tonight with the latest on this shootout investigation. Amelia. Steve, that man who fought back, his name is Ethan Rodriguez, and he told me today that in that moment, he feared for his life. He told us that he has no connection to the man who posed as that maintenance worker, and he believes that this was a crime of opportunity. Saturday, August 19th, around 6 p.m. A man who claims to be a maintenance worker shows up outside an apartment door at a complex off of Gannon Lane in Oak Cliff. Ethan Rodriguez talks to the man through his doorbell camera. Uh, no, okay, I'm sorry, no, 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 yeah, we're checking the air filters. Rodriguez tells him no one is home and to come back another day. Oh, much appreciated. A few minutes later, the man comes back, this time with a friend and their arm. Little did they know, Rodriguez is home and had been on his phone talking to them from his doorbell camera. So I heard him checking the camera to see who was all at the door, and I saw him kicking the door with a firearm and fearing for mine and my brother's life. I just let the gun go. I didn't know what to do. Dell's police say Rodriguez fired 13 rounds, and the suspects fired back twice. No one was injured. According to the arrest affidavit, the video posted and circulated on social media led to Crime Stoppers tips that identified the suspect posing as the maintenance worker as 30-year-old Aaron Contreras. And this is basically just a random attack. No one could have, we couldn't have expected any of this. No, he's not linked, he's not linked to anybody in my family or anybody that we know. Two days later on Monday, police arrested Contreras and charged him with aggravated assault, deadly conduct, and attempted burglary. Dallas County Sheriff's Office records show Contreras' criminal history dates back to 2013. The records show he's been arrested and charged with robbery and burglary several times before. I'm guessing he just thought this was just going to be a lucky payday. No one's home and this is just free stuff to steal here. No, he thought wrong. 